Okay. And then maybe you can look at the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. Uh, let's, uh, what? You like it? Yeah. I, I like the smoothest no light on that. Yeah. Oh, and then with this stuff here and everything? Okay. You're not going to be like that. What do you think, Mike? The dots read, the dots read like they're across the street, too. So. Um, can you, uh, um, can, um, Jalisa, can you, uh, describe this one Do you want to leave it open or close it? Oh. Jalisa, Jalisa looks great. I think we need more, um, light. We'll probably have to adjust light for Alexis for, a little bit. Okay. What? Are we feeling this tone? Yeah, I like okay. it. All right, good. I'm what's going on lighting-wise in here? What, what's our setup? Well, this is another flashback. Um, you know, and uh, it's been the theme of the flashbacks to have them a lot more stylized and, um, than the reality um, moments. We're gonna be using this pattern right here. This is kind of like, um, you know, not only is it the theme of this uh, establishment, but you know, we're gonna kind of use it as a theme, a uh, lighting theme in, in our film. What we're finding about this place really challenging is when we came here, um, the light bright and the fluorescence that are behind these um, poles, when the lights are out, they shine so much more. But what happens is when you put all of these lights in, all these film lights and the you know, the exposure index just really jumps really high so these little tiny fluoros they don't really show up as well so the problem is and and, and the um, the wall that has the holes in it it's white so white naturally bounces light so the biggest challenge for us is, is hiding is flagging a stray light so that it doesn't hit these white walls so we can still keep that that look and we can still get exposure, proper exposure on film and, uh, and good lighting and um, for dimensionality it's a small space so getting depth uh, in the scene requires definitely a, a lot of um, a lot of lights and a lot of hiding lights in a small space so I mean it's a so you know, I think we're doing a good job Tom has been rigging up some really as you can see some really you know um, <laughs> ugly lighting scenarios, but they work. That's uh, that's that's what that's what's important here.